Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this YouTube player pop-up using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in the previous video, we created this design using HTML and CSS and in this video, we will add the functionality. So if you go to the original design and if I click on any of these links, we have this YouTube player pop-up displayed over here. Now in this video, we will add this functionality using JavaScript. So let's get started. <laughs> Right now the last thing we need to do is we need to display these YouTube pop-up player when we click on the links. So let's go back to our HTML file and I'll just remove this active class. So this is how it looks by default. Now we will use JavaScript to display the pop-up. So let's go to our main.js file and let's reference the elements in our HTML file. The first thing we will reference is this YouTube player overlay because we need to add the active class to this. So let's tap const yt player overlay equals document.query selector and let's type YouTube player overlay. Now the next thing we will do is we'll reference these links. So for the links we have this division with the class of YouTube link. So let's tap const yt links equals document.query selector all because there are multiple elements. And let's type YouTube link. Right now we need to add an event listener to all these YouTube links. So we need to loop through all those elements. We will use a for each loop for that. Let's type yt links dot for each. And for each of the link, I'll just call it link. You can name this anything you want. And now we need to add event listeners to all these links. So let's type link dot add event listener. And we will listen for the click event. And uh, let's add an arrow function over here. Now when we click on the link, we need to add the active class to this yt player overlay. So let's type yt player overlay dot class list dot add and let's type active. And when we click outside the pop-up, we need to hide this overlay. So let's type yt player overlay dot add event listener and let's listen for the click event and let's create an arrow function and let's type yt player overlay dot class list dot remove active. Now here we are adding the event listener to the yt player overlay. That's because uh, it is displayed outside this pop-up. So here we can see this is all the yt player overlay but this pop-up is on top of this yt player overlay. So whenever we click outside this pop-up this event will be fired. Right, let's go back to our design and let's see whether everything looks all right. Let's click on this link and here we can see that our YouTube player is being displayed. Let's click outside this pop-up and it goes back. Now when the pop-up goes back, it doesn't go smoothly. So let's go back to our CSS. And uh, here for the overlay, we need to add a transition. So let's tap transition and let's set it to all 400 milliseconds ease. Now let's try it again. Let's open this and let's click outside and it goes back. So everything is working all right. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to add the correct link for the YouTube. Right now when we click on any of these links, the same video is being displayed. Now what we need to do is we need to change this ID inside this link. So here we can see we have this embed link and after the embed keyword, we have this ID of the video. Now we need to change this ID. The rest of the link stays the same. So we will do that in the JavaScript. For that, let's copy this link from here. Let's go to our main.js file. And here let's create a variable called video link equals and let's use backticks and let's paste the link over here. And here instead of this ID, we need to add the ID of the video. Now for this, we will use data attribute inside HTML. So here for each of the YouTube links, let's also add a data attribute. So let's type data hyphen and you can add any name after the hyphen. I just type link. And we will set it equal to the ID of the video. So let's go back and let's get the ID of all the videos. Now if you open any YouTube video, you can see the ID of the video after watch question mark V equals. So you can simply copy and paste this ID from here and paste it in the embed link. So I'll just quickly go ahead and copy all the IDs. Right, I just copied and pasted all the IDs over here. So here we have the data link attribute. This is the ID of the third video. This is the ID of the second video and this is the ID of the first video. Now we can simply access this in our JavaScript. 
So let's go to our main.js file and here let's add a dollar symbol and curly braces and here let's type link which we are referencing over here when we loop through each of the links dot data set and then you have to type dot and the name of the data attribute which is link now we need to add this url to the src of the iframe so if you go back to the html file here we can see we have this iframe and in that we have this src so let's replace this src attribute so i'll just delete this id from here and let's go back and here we need to reference this uh, youtube player pop-up so here let's type const yt player pop-up equals document dot query selector youtube player pop-up and uh, here let's type yt player pop-up dot src equals video link and now it should work so let's go back to our design and let's click on this first link and it is not working so let's go back and let's see what's the problem and here's the problem we haven't referenced the iframe we have just referenced the container division so in the container division which is youtube player pop-up we have this iframe so we need to reference that let's type iframe over here right now let's go back and let's see whether it works let's click on the first link and we have the first video displayed let's click on the second link and we have the second video displayed let's click on the third link and we have the third video displayed so everything is working all right and you can simply go ahead and click on play to play the video so that's basically how you can add youtube player pop-up to your website using html css and javascript all right that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,